Tonight, we've learned residents of five nursing homes in southeastern Massachusetts have just weeks to pack up their things and find a new home. This after the owners of the facility, Skyline Healthcare, agreed to voluntarily surrender their licenses for the nursing homes. And new tonight, we have learned Dighton Care, Highland Manor, and Bedford Village will close on May 24th, while Rockdale and Bedford Gardens in New Bedford will close on May 3rd. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian has been speaking with concerned residents, family members, and staff today. She joins us live from New Bedford with the latest. Kim? Well, Shannon and Mike, the countdown is on now for the 244 residents of these five facilities. For the folks here at Rockdale in New Bedford, they have just a week and one day to find a new place to live. It's a very emotional day in here today, a very emotional day. Nursing Supervisor Grace Williamson says her staff refuses to abandon the residents of the Bedford Village Nursing Home. And we're not going to leave you. We're going to be here with you guys until the very end. Mm -hmm. The home, one of five, set to close next month after what the health department called ongoing operational issues. The owner, Skyline Healthcare, has faced legal and financial troubles with its facilities in numerous other states. Staff at these Massachusetts nursing homes complaining of late or bounced paychecks in recent weeks. Now with all five set to close, residents and families feel helpless. There's five of us closing at one time. There's just no place for us to go. I don't know where she'll go. I don't know how they place these people, you know, they can't just put them out in the street, I wouldn't think. So it's scary. Eileen Melanson's sister at Rockdale has dementia, while 81-year-old Bedford Village resident James Messier needs care for Parkinson's and cancer. Well, I'm doing the best I can to hold on and uh, hope for the best. Staff like Williamson wondering why the Massachusetts Department of Public Health decided not to put the homes into receivership as so many other states did with their own troubled skyline facilities. And they haven't even given us that option. So now you're taking 244 residents and displacing them. And I have reached out to the Massachusetts Department of Public Health for their response to these questions and concerns, but I'm still waiting for a reply. So far, we have been unable to connect with anyone from Skyline Healthcare. Reporting live in New Bedford tonight, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News. The clock is ticking for residents of five New Bedford nursing homes to find a new place to live. This after the Massachusetts Department of Public Health announced the owner of the homes was voluntarily surrendering his licenses. And today we've learned Dighton Care, Highland Manor and Bedford Village will close May 24th, while Rockland and Bedford Gardens in New Bedford will close May 3rd. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian spent the day talking to concerned families, residents, and staff. She joins us now from New Bedford with the new details. Kim? Well, Shannon and Mike, these are just the latest in a series of nursing home closures across Massachusetts in the past year. And now the 244 residents of these five facilities, including those here at Rockdale in New Bedford, have just weeks to relocate. I just I feel helpless because I don't know what's going to happen. Family members of residents at five Skyline Healthcare facilities wondering what's next. Well, we're going to try and find him someplace else that he can go, that he's comfortable with. Douglas Messier's father, James, is 81. He needs care for cancer and Parkinson's. Well, I'm doing the best I can to hold on and uh, hope for the best. The five homes are set to close next month after what the Department of Public Health called ongoing operational issues. The owner, Skyline Healthcare, has had problems with its facilities in numerous other states where nursing homes have often gone into receivership. Staff at the Massachusetts homes wondering why the same wasn't done here. And they haven't even given us that option. So now you're taking 244 residents and displacing them. Grace Williams of Bedford Village says recent paychecks were late, but despite that, she had this message for residents. We're doing everything we can to place them into the proper places. And for days now, we have been unable to connect with anyone from Skyline Healthcare, which is based in New Jersey. We did also reach out to the Massachusetts Department of Public Health today for their response to the questions and concerns raised by staff and residents. But so far, we have not heard back. Live in New Bedford, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.